Greetings everybody, Retro Indie Gamer here, and today we have some Ace Free Wanderers from Ace. Yeah, it's probably best to start this game after all the beginning cutscene stuff started. No one seems to be home, that's a good start. Yeah, this is yeah, this is the Super Nintendo version of the famed third East game, Wanderers from East. Yeah, and I started to start the game and basically skip through all the opening cinematics. Your cause of hunger gold, really like bias? Yes, because that's gonna be really helpful. I don't need these I don't need any of these items, they're pretty much worthless. But man, this this yeah, like I figured out since I'm on the a Falcon pick playing a bunch of their games. Sword sword, four costs four hundred gold. Yes. Chief Armor. Yes. How much is the shield? Quit. Okay, now to equip all this by pressing select and going to select to what to equip everything. Time for one more at all. What is the matter, like you? Yeah, this is one of the few games where, few games where I've noticed that he actually talks. Deliver the text in yellow, that means at all is talking. Which, which is interesting, because he's usually a silent protagonist in all the other East games. Now, if you don't rest here for the mine, I'll be too late. Okay, let's rescue. I shall go. But yeah, I love this game. Though some people, though some people for some reason seem to have some issues with the. With the Super Nintendo version of the game. I don't know why, because I find the Super Nintendo version to be, be a blast to play. Except for the final boss being as hard as can possibly be. But yeah, what can I say? The East series, one of the best game series of games ever. Okay, now before I move on, it's time for some grinding. Status. I need, I need 100 experience for a next level, so yeah. It's usually recommended to be about level, I think about level 3 before I venture further into this dungeon. So yeah. So yeah, fight for a bit, run out, heal. Yeah, this game actually, yeah, but, yeah just like a lot of other old, really old RPGs, and like all the East games, you can heal by basically standing outside of a dungeon for a, for, a few, for a little bit. But the East games, unlike other games like, um, I don't know, Hide Lied, this game actually heals, fat, it heals you quickly. Or relatively quickly, anyway. Yeah, relatively, yeah, or at least relatively quickly. Time to destroy all enemies! Um, okay, I'm gonna sit here and quickly heal. Yeah, he, yeah, like I said, he heals quickly. But yeah, he's free. 
which, which some would consider a black sheep of the series, similar to Zola, to Zola 2. Interesting, interesting, interestingly enough, both of those games are both these games are side scrollers. Yeah, because this is back when Falcon was making everything a side scroller. That's one up a level. Status 200. Yeah, this is one of the few games I found where the where building of levels is actually fun. <laughs> yeah, they actually made grinding and doing things like collecting the money for the, the gold needed to buy weapons and whatnot a lot of fun. It's also fun of playing as one of the earliest RPG, playing a game of one of the earliest RPG heroes. And thinking of a lot of older old RPGs that came around out around the same time as this, I can't remember any of them having a sent a defined character, a, a character whose name is actually defined, like Adol was, because well. Final Fantasy hadn't come out yet, and there weren't any definitive characters. Okay, there were, but there weren't any true, like, definitive main hero characters until the second game. And Dragon Quest had the nameless hero. Sure, mentioned the ancestor Erdrick or Lotto or Rado, depending on what version you're playing and what country you're living in. But that character wasn't actually seen until Dragon Quest III, and it was revealed to be a title anyway, so. Next up is 400. <laughs> Get to slide to his sword, guys, and die. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah, that red hair seems to be very popular among RPG heroes. I mean, we have, we, we have characters like, like Chrono from Squaresoft's Chrono Trigger. You know, in terms of red hair video game characters, well, Adol and, and the and the original version of Link, who I assume was supposed to have red hair, are about the same age. Yeah, I just found it interesting how similar the East and Zelda series are. In fact, I think the East series, well, yeah, the East series is actually one that manages to find a good mix of both gameplay and story. I mean, they this clear gameplay is main focus, but they always have really interesting stories, especially the most recent ones. <laughs> so yeah, all this time just grinding. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Yeah, playing some East Free, Wanderers from East. <laughs> Let's destroy all enemies! Destroy all enemies! With one more at all. Tried to fly upstairs. He just went like this. Funny birdie. I want my boy. Mm -hmm. I want my boy. Okay, he can sit up here for a bit. She's an interesting What's all this? Oh, my box. Hi, <laughs> bad boys. Bye bye. So anyway, say hi to my bird, Ollie. <laughs> He'll sit here for the remainder of the stream. <laughs> mm. 
when he's not being embarrassed with affection. <laughs> Yeah, what can I say? This game is really good. <laughs> really? <laughs> so yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this game. Boy, so far I've actually played through this a couple times. But like I said, the end boss... Oh my god, is he hard. Actually, now would be a good time to actually venture deeper into the cave. And make this game even more fun. Time for Al to sliver on through and destroy all his enemies. Now, I'm guessing some of you might remember this game from the 16-bit era in North America because... Because, well, this is probably... This this game wound up on a lot of consoles when it came out here. Power Rain! Mmm! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the sound. Well, might as well save here and sneak through. And avoiding enemies at all costs. Having a lot of gold here. So yeah, if, yeah. This game actually back when it came out in the 16-bit era, it ended up on pretty much all three of the major consoles available at the time. Really, Ollie? Okay, sit here. Sit here, killing the slime. Yeah, because yeah, this thing as I because right, it's play, I'm playing it on the Super Nintendo right now, so it ended up there. It also ended up on the on the, on the Sega Genesis as well as the Terragraphic CD. All which are different. All which are different. All which have their own flaws involved. Still doesn't still doesn't make the game any less fun. It makes me wonder why this game never showed up on the Wii, on the Wii Virtual Console. I mean, the first two games did. I just touched Simon and died, didn't I? Be a good time to actually go up and heal. If I die again, I'll do that. Yep. And watching my bird just sit there preening. Run, Adol, run! <laughs> but man, what can I say about this game? Yeah, it's all, oh man, yeah, it's fun. Now, East Free, I'd, I would recommend, I would say I would recommend playing this, but there's also a remake which came out years later, of ever, and I'd recommend getting that remake. And it's called the Oath of Thelgana, which you can easily pick up on either the PlayStation Store or Steam. I personally recommend the Steam version. Yeah, I personally recommend the Steam version. Most because it doesn't have god awful voice acting. 
which the PSP version, which the PSP version does. Yeah, Japanese games still have questionable voice acting at best in certain games, or at least when they port them here. But sometimes it, yeah. So sometimes they get the um, casting, they get the voice cast right. Other times, not so much. Whee! Watch it, all falls. Okay, I might as well save here. This is, it looks like it's a safer area. As I try to avoid the stupid wolves. And everything else in this mine. Yeah, this is the first area and I'm already getting my buck checked by certain enemies. Yeah, because this game is hard. Which, if you played any previous East game or any future one, they're all hard. Yep, don't touch slimes or you die. Jump battle, jump! Now, that seems to be something he still has in later games. He can still jump. But, but in, in, in case now, now it's definitely interesting how long it was between rele between releases for a series. Because in the U.S., there was a 13-year gap between the release of East Free in, on the on the Super Nintendo Turbo Graphics and say and um. And say in Genesis, and one and E6 Arkham pushed them on the on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, they pretty much skipped an entire generation. Yeah, a first, like I said, 13 year gap here in the U.S. Japan didn't fare much better between the release of the fifth game and the sixth games, also skipping a generation. Yeah, because there's because the fifth East game was released on Super Famicom, never made it to the U.S. And watch as my bird just sits there not caring. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna sit here and look beautiful. <laughs> Which he does a good job at. <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, Japan did yeah, in Japan for Falcon's East series, they did they didn't fare much better. Cause I think there was a period period of time when they weren't when they weren't making new games at all. Just basically porting games they already made to newer platforms. And eventually they did end up making newer games. Starting with E6, The Ark of the Piston, which came out, I um, want to say, 2003 on PC. Then it was ported to the PS2 and PSP, and those versions came out in the US, courtesy of Konami. Back before, back when they were good, but even though, even then, they did make some personal choices with E6. For, or, especially the um, Ark for the PS2 version, like replacing all the, um, the hand drawn sprites with 3D models. Which feels, which felt like it was unnecessary, and they also tend to change the music, which is one of the things that the East series is best known for. Robert's Pendant. Yeah, but here in that instance, though, that the uh, fan uproar caused Konami to backlash. No, to him back, no, not backlash, backpedal, and keep the music in. Oh, here's Chester, the brother of the love interest and the villain of the story. Or one of the villains. No, sorry, you will only cause problems. Who are you? What are you doing here? Leave. And he kicks and just walks away. <laughs> That'd be effective. Kick, walk out of my way. Kick, and, and just run downstairs. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can get to a boss in this stream. Yeah, we still need to rescue the mayor. Warehouse key. Yep, I think I can get to the boss. Will do. While I'm at it, it'll be a good time to gain some levels, because we have a boss ahead. Hmm. 
Please, these things take forever to die. And worry odds I'm gonna be dying before I get there. Pretty high, actually. So I lost a good portion of health when I ran to this guy. Really? <laughs> the one bird here is sitting there, no care, not about caring. He's like, he just wants, he's like, he's like, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm happy. Die, slime, die! Apparently, the slime does not want to die. At least I got ten. At least I got ten years of experience from these from these jokers. And I just, yep, I just stormed by walking into a slime. Okay. Now it's time to be really, really careful around slimes. Waking up when it's dead. <laughs> okay, I think it's about dead. I would just jump over him, but I need the experience. And this guy just doesn't want to die. Come on, die already. Okay. And yeah, 600, about 600 gold. That might be enough for something. Okay, got out of there. Now is a good time to save. Before I go down the stairs and run into the wolf. Of course, jump over the wolf. And everything else. But man, yeah, as you, yeah, this game's definitely more fun than Falcon than Falcon's earlier side-scrolling adventures. Like their Dragon Slayer series, which I've realized has aged really terribly. Let me through. And Ollie just stand there preening, which he pretty much does for a good portion of the day. <laughs> Okay, I can't, oh yeah, that door I can't get into like, until later. Yeah, this, yeah, these games involve a lot of dying.
Okay, I should be in the safe zone now. For a little bit anyway. So I can at least save and heal. Run, Adel, run! With one of your help is there, and it quickly goes back to help, goes back to full. Okay, made it through. Now back to getting through. Yeah, because we have a boss up ahead. I figured I was play for the first boss and then end the stream. Cause yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'll save here. Pick up here. I am gone. Come. I just died. against a wizard. How about a dangerous joker? I'm trying to remember how you damage this guy. Oh, I think I need the power ring. Okay, maybe I should go up level before dealing with this Joker. Maybe that, maybe going up level will help. Yeah, that's one fun thing about these game types of games. You can just. Go back out and grind for a bit. Before dealing with the boss again. And he might stand a better chance. Let's see, 700. I might have enough for a new sword. Or at least some better armor, because I'm getting a new sword and I'm momentarily. Really? Mm -hmm. well, uh, yes, I'm probably a favorite one playing. <laughs> well, I suppose if I was a better one, care with the human city ever. A thousand gold? Not a chance. <laughs> I agree, Ollie. That's a little ridiculous. I uh, know. Was the next sword? Was the brass sword? Oh my! Come again! Let me try saving here. Okay, a full recharge ring should really should really help put a dent in that guy. Okay, now go back to find Dalarn. Dalon, or what however hell you call it, whatever hell you call him. 
Tyree Quarry. Let's go here and save, and then come back in and kill everybody. Probably without taking damage from anybody. Okay, just keep falling and destroying more and more enemies. I'll try sitting back here. Back to dealing with Dalarn. With Dalarn. Time for this guy to die. Ah, see you in hell. See you in hell, Dalarn. Choir belongs or da, 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 da. Now at least that music remains consistent by the entire series whenever you get an item. You may have pressed the on. And, and that boss, at, in, in its own, shows one of the main differences between this and the remake, the Open Felgana. Because in Open Felgana, when you fight that guy, you actually you actually fight the wizard many times over the course of the game. Yeah, you actually fight the wizard several times before actually killing him. Whereas here, you just fight the wizard the once and he dies. And you don't see him again. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna, gonna get back to doing, to making, to showing footage from all of the East games. Kills. Yeah, one more at all. Because, yeah, so yeah, today will be this game, and tomorrow I'll probably be covering Open Felgana, the remake of this game. So now the store kills those guys in one fell swoop. Did I destroy all these guys? 
and hopefully you get more experience as I burn to sit there with this. This sits there. Okay, now let's get to the next boss. Okay, that works much better for killing the slimes. Let's see what a few levels and a more powerful sword does. That's a pretty background, a beautiful background. <laughs> Which is saying this is a Super Nintendo game. A Super Nintendo game is also a port of a piece of a game from the old Japanese PCs. Cause like the first two East games, this game was originally released on the PC-88. Then wound up everywhere. Yeah, like, it literally ended up pretty much everywhere. Destroy the slimes! Yeah, I wish I could find out what the fascination is with, with RPGs and slimes. I'm sure there's something in some sort of fancy work somewhere. Okay, that's got creamed. Anyway. Equipment. This and this. Okay, oh, I remember this boss being pretty difficult. Let's take damage, please! I just love how these bosses, how you can throw an sword on all day, they just take little chips of damage. Whereas they have one swoop that sideswipes you and you're dead in a few, in a few hits. What the hell? Damage! 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 This guy will die. This is probably crap like this is probably why the game genie was invented. It makes me wish I had one. into a false sense of security. Wait, why do I keep doing that when I mean equipment? Yeah, I think I know how to stop this guy. have weird sense of range. Oh 
Okay, I actually tempted to just go out and grind for a bit. I love how your attacks seem to take priority over over healing items. Yeah, I slowly chip away. Then I'm sideswiped by some random attack and I'm instantly dead. Did this guy die ever? Okay, I've gone through this before. I don't remember being this much of a hassle. Actually, wait, yes, I do. Give me a chance to get attacking and move and heal! Move and heal. There's got to be a, a strategy I'm missing. I've got to be missing something. Am I missing something? You will all die. Be, be that enemy will at least. Give me a chance to heal! That's it. Debug mode. A debug mode. That's it. That's enough of this game for now. 
I'll be back later. I'll probably come back to this game later. After I figure out if I can use this stupid code. Well, until next time, everybody. Say bye, Ollie. As he stretches the stars.